The last digit of your like on this video by each who you are from Melon Playground, and the last digit of your subscription to my channel will show your Melon Playground item. So go down right now, subscribe and give me a like. Look at the screen. Notice the last digit of your like and your subscription and write in the comments who you are from Melon Playground. It's simple, if your like is number 8 and the last digit of your subscription is number 5, you're a lemon and a cactus. Show your imagination and enjoy the show. And hello to all dear friends. In this video I'm going to tell you and show you the secret facts of the 23.5 update in Melon Playground. But before we start the video I want to say a huge thank you to these guys, my subscribers, for participating in my videos. If you want to be in my next video, it's very easy. You need to put a like, subscribe to my channel, and write a cool comment of at least four words or more. Either way, I won't waste your time and have fun watching it. So friends, let's get right to the first fact. And the first fact is more like a bug, but it's still very interesting. Acid is even in the melon playground textures. Notice the screen. If we take the jet engine and turn it on, we can see that on the right and left a piece of the map, a piece of the floor, it's like it's in acid too. And we can clearly see the acid splatter right on the floor. It's very interesting and strange. This fact was brought to my attention by a very good subscriber of mine named Daniel. And he is now the admin of my TGC. So if you want to be in my next episode just like Daniel, make sure you send your myths, builds, bugs, anything to a private message or on my Telegram account. And maybe you'll be my sidekick in future videos of mine. Also, rate this fact on Water 10 because this looks really weird. Well, let's move on to the next fact. Well, and the next fact, now added the ability to withdraw money from Melon Playground. That is, if you have a huge amount of Melon Coins on your balance, let's say at least 75,000, then you can withdraw them for real money. For example, if you have a huge number of builds, and that collect a huge amount of Melon Coins for these builds, then with the help of the site, you can safely withdraw them. Notice the screen. This is what this site looks like. And on this site, first of all, you can deposit melon coins, and secondly, you can withdraw them. Unfortunately, the very minimum withdrawal amount is 75,000 melon coins. And for them, you'll get about give or take 100 bucks, which is not that bad. And it's actually a really cool support for authors. Now it will make sense for people to both donate and basically create new content. As far as I'm concerned, this is probably the best innovation in Melon Playground in the last six months for sure because it's very important for basically life and maintaining the balance of the workshop. That's kind of the story. Rate this innovation from one to 10. And let's move on to the next fact. So the following facts. There is a way to get colored skeletons absolutely without any mods and you can keep them safely. It's very beautiful to look at. Personally, I'm high on that fact. So, to get colored skeletons, you need to follow a couple of steps. You need to dunk any elite NPCs that you want, but it's important that the NPC doesn't dissolve completely, just the top layer disappears. And once you have the top layer missing, you need to inject a syringe of regeneration. And then inject a syringe of health if Malona doesn't get up after all. And pay attention to the screen. You can get any NPC in this easy and simple way. And it's really cool. I mean, really, look at it. It's really beautiful and it's really weird. I mean, it's never been done before. What do you think about it? Be sure to write in the comments and give it a one to 10 because I think it's very interesting. And let's move on to the next fact. The next fact about the vacuum cleaner in Melon Playground. This is probably the most interesting item in my opinion because it has very unique abilities. So, what is the connection between the vacuum cleaner and the new update? Well, it's pretty simple. If you dip any item in Melon Playground in acid even for a second, it loses its hitboxes one way or another or they get ruined. But that's not the point. As soon as their hitboxes get damaged or their hitboxes go missing, then you can suck that item into the melon playground with a vacuum cleaner. And pay attention to the screen. You can even suck up a truck, a Jeep, an APTR. It doesn't matter. 
absolutely any object, at least for a second by dipping it in acid. And it's very interesting. It looks crazy illogical and weird, but it works. I don't know if the developers will want to fix it, because for now it works. Rate this fact from 1 to 10 in the comments, and write if you've tried it. And let's move on to the next fact. Now here's a fact. If you freeze any weapon and turn it on under acid, it will work. And pay attention to the screen. It doesn't matter what kind of weapon we put in. Whether it's just a minigun, let's say it's just an automatic rifle, a revolver, anything. Even a grenade launcher and a bazooka, if we freeze them. First of all, they won't be ruined by the acid. And secondly, they'll actually be fully functional. And they can even hurt melon underwater. And that's very, first of all, beautiful. And secondly, it's weird. Why it works like that, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know about it. And if you've actually tried it, also rate this fact from 1 to 10. And let's move on to the next fact. As you already know, we have 17 achievements, which you can get by solving the puzzle. But that's not the point of this fact. To get this achievement, you need to download the generator. And I know a lot of people have already gotten the generator. First of all, it's in the workshop. Second of all, it's on my Telegram. If you don't have it, you can get it on my Telegram. The link is in the pinned comment. But here's an amazing fact about this item. This is the only item that does not dissolve in acid in any way. I don't know why that is. Because it's a mod, or maybe some other reason. But it really does. It can't be dissolved. And I don't know why it works that way. If you have any idea, make sure you post it in the comments. But it sounds very interesting to me. Well, let's move on to the next fact. And here's the last but not the worst fact of the day. For some reason, the hammer burns on acid. If you smash it near a lake of acid, and it's very strange and interesting. Look at this. It's like some kind of burning sea or something like that. And it's really quite amazing. And it's weird why it works like that. Maybe the acid lake has its own hitbox too. That's why the Molotov spreads, like to this acid. I don't know why that's the case, but it's really weird. Did you know that? Be sure to write it in the comments. And that concludes my video. Thank you all for watching. Good luck, everybody. Bye, everybody. And remember, buddy, as always, I'll see you the other day.